Hi, my name is Ejem Kurtoğlu. I am going to talk about element design part of reflect array antenna. The reflect array is an antenna with a flat reflecting surface consisting of hundreds of elements on its aperture and an illuminating field antenna. The reflect array antenna consists of hybrid design, which combines advantage of reflectors and printed arrays. Since experimental demonstration of wireless communication by Hertz in 1887, reflectors have become the most widely used high-gain antenna in communications, radio astronomy, remote sensing and radar. On the other hand, array antenna is a good alternative approach to realization of a large antenna is by using several smaller antennas in the form of an array. For the last 10 years, there is a great interest in reflect array antennas for several applications such as space exploration, satellite communication, remote sensing, radar systems, and medical department. Reflect array antennas can be designed from microwave frequencies up to terahertz range. This design is proposed to operate X-band which is from 8 to 12 gigahertz frequency range. Flexible substrate antennas play a key role in the integration and packaging of wireless communication devices and sensor networks. For this design, gene textile will be used as a substrate and its parameters are shown in the table. Design of reflect array antenna can be divided into three steps. First one is element designing, second one is system analysis and third one is the radiation analysis. Fundamental component of array structure is the patch antenna which is made of metallic patch, dielectric substrate and ground. They are easily fabricated and low cost antennas with low profile. Each unit cell is illuminated by the feed antenna which is located at z-axis with or without offset angle. To focus the beam in a certain direction, a progressive phase distribution is assigned to the elements. A critical step in designing a reflector antenna is selecting a phase tuning methodology. By this way, we can achieve desired phase tuning range. Different approaches are available for tuning the phase of reflect array elements, which in general can be categorized into three groups. Fundamentally, flock modes are plane waves with propagation direction set by the frequency, phasing and geometry of the periodic structure. In order to observe the phase change with respect to change in element size, flock ports are used. This method based on the idea that phase tuning of an element can be achieved by changing the physical size of the element. Changing the operating frequency of the antenna change the phase value. Also, it is known that cutoff frequency is related to the size of the patch antenna. Hi, my name is Ejem Özçelik. I'm going to talk about system design and radiation analysis part. In this design, a gain horn antenna which operates at X-band is used and first it is simulated separately. Before dealing with the phase-tuned array antenna, first of all a simple version is designed and after that number of elements are increased and more complex version of the array antenna is obtained. To get rid of cross-polarization, distance between the patch antennas is kept lambda over 2. Gain can be obtained by using directivity and aperture efficiency, which is product of spillover and illumination efficiency. Antenna was located where the far field region starts. If the horn antenna is placed orthogonal without any rotation, feed antenna can block some of the radiation. To get rid of this blockage effect, horn antenna needs an offset value, which is minus 15 degree. If the main beam is directed at some specific angle, the current phase on a unit cell can be calculated as follows. Here our value represents the distance between phase center of the horn antenna and the selected unit cell. After that, by using MATLAB program, phase tuning is achieved and radiation patterns are resulted. Initially, the beam angle was set to 0 degrees. Horn antenna offset angle is minus 15 degrees. As can be seen, a 0 degree orientation occurs in the graph. Likewise, when the beam angle is 15, the phi angle is 30. Orientation occurs at 15 degrees as desired. For future work, directivity can be improved by increasing the number of antenna elements and size of the substrate. Also, radiation recovery can be achieved by changing the shape of the substrate from square to circle.